Hey guys, we're watching Volgar's Beer Reviews, and I got a different one today. We went to this place, not that place, uh, US Market, and we got a growler. First place I've ever seen that has a growler. This is a 64 ounce, and uh, basically you pick the beer you want, and you get it on tap in the jug. Um, Ham's was two ninety nine for a 32 ounce. They said 64 on the on the big screen TV, but that was a lie. How much was it? Five ninety nine. Yeah, five ninety nine. I'm like screw it. Five ninety nine. Just get something else. Um, which makes sense. It's it's twice as much, but it's only hams, you know. Um, this is Hot Valley. Valley fog. Valley fog. Five point seven percent alcohol by volume on uh, untapped. Uh, out of thirty ratings, it's got a three and a half score. I could not find it on Beer Advocate, which is kind of weird considering they're supposed to be all about the craft beers but they don't have valley fog do they usually have new beers like brand new beers uh yeah it might have x as question mark over the picture but they had they had miller fortune when i got it like uh, a month after it came out but this has been around they should have it it's been around for about two months and by the way I went to goodwill today and i found a chalice olympia beer chalice i could not believe it three bucks Take my jug back. All right, so uh, it's there's an oatmeal stout. Oatmeal stout. Okay, there we go. There's the pour. A little bit ahead. I just kind of collected it out. Smell. Doesn't have too much of a smell. But it's got a taste. It does when you bury your nose in it. Hmm. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, really smooth. It's pretty smooth. It's not too. It doesn't hit. It doesn't hit you in the in the in the gut or the crotch. It doesn't hit you with like the the bitterness or or whatever, like a lot of dark beers do. But it's a good beginner dark beer. How much was that again? Uh, the jug was six bucks, and the beer was, I think nine, to fill it. Nine dollars to fill it. So nine dollars is equivalent to how many of those beers? Twelve? Um, no, Twenty-four. No, uh, Twelve. 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 What size? Or like a twenty-four ounce can or a bottle or a twenty-two ounce bottle? Twelve. A twelve ounce? Yeah, twelve ounce uh, is standard beer. Uh, second, three, four, five, like a six pack. Yeah, so six pack. Yeah, you buy you buy your your jug. And then you buy the beer, and then you bring it back, and you don't have to pay for the jug anymore. Just rinse it out, bring it back, and then uh, pay to fill it up. They had like 12, different, they had 12 selections of beer. And of all the beers, they have hams. It's so weird. Like, hams, is, it's, it's like at the Peacock, the bar around here. They used to have PBR, but I don't, I don't know the whole story. Probably the... I don't know if they didn't sell enough of it, which I... No, that's not true. They, I'm they sure sold they, that every day. Yeah, sold every day. They probably had disagreement with the seller or whatever. And, uh... Vendor seller. And they're like, fuck you guys, we're gonna put in some hams. And I don't mind hams, but PBR is definitely better. It's uh, it's also smoother. It's like, you know, you can pound a lot easier. It's like a light beer, it's not... It's also really good if you put some salt and lime in it, too. Or you can just chug it and forget the salt and lime. Well, if you get salt and lime for free at the bar, you're good. So, you spent, what'd you say, $9 altogether? No, 15 altogether. 15 altogether. 6 for the jug, and then 9 for the beer. That's pretty good, actually. Because if you just would have bought the beer in the bottles, you probably would have spent that anyways. And now the next time you get some... I can just pick whatever I yeah. want and not have to worry about buying the jug. So that's pretty cool. I like I, I can do a review in this chalice. That's I mostly just wanted the jug. I thought it was even cooler. That was a uh, Deschutes Brewery in Bend, Oregon. Mm -hmm. but I mostly wanted the just the style of the bottle. But I figured I'd fill it up if I'm going to use it. Yeah, 
it's pretty good. Um, but it seems to me like it. It the rating I looked, I saw. What was that? Three and a half. Three point five nine. Yeah, that's that's pretty fair. I mean, compared to for what it is, especially the price. That's 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 fair. Um, because it's not really, it doesn't, ha it's not really in your face with the flavors, and it's also not really, um, ex like in your face or extreme or anything. But at the same time, if that's what you want, then I guess you wouldn't get this. It's a good beginner beer. I've never had it before, so I couldn't really judge before I had it. But saying that, it's I say for me it's a seven nine. It's, at this place, it's a good deal, and uh, you know if you find a place that sells growlers, I couldn't find this beer in a bottle there either. Oh yeah, I found everything else in a bottle, but not this. Wait a minute, they had hams in a bottle. Maybe cans or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> But they have, they have this in a bottle or can. I've never seen hands in a bottle. The point is, they have. They, you can only get this on tap. Yeah, I think it's worth seven nine. It's good, but it's like not. It's not huge. It's not like uh, they shoots um, black beet porter. That's definitely a lot better, I think. But it's on oatmeal. Um, the oatmeal has a little more of a. Have you had any other oatmeals? I don't think so. I, I think this is the only oatmeal I've had. This is, old, this is the only oatmeal I know of. I've had a lot of stouts, but this is the only oatmeal. The only difference I see is the aftertaste or the, and, and the foam. It tastes kind of like, well, oatmeal, kind of. Oh, only oatmeal, beer flavored oatmeal, sort of. It's interesting. You drip it off the jug. It's pretty good off the jug. Yeah. It's like drinking it right off the tap. It's like when they put it in your cup at a bar. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Um, it, it's got like the uh, the stouts and the dark beers. They got. They really got something going on with the. The taste and the you, when you drink the foam with most with cheap beers you drink the foam is like ugh that's just in the way but this it's like it's cream you know whipped cream on the top so it's pretty good you find it check it out um, here's the uh, a sticker or not a sticker a, a picture logo. of the logo and all that if I can get it big come on phone help me out here oh. Apparently, I can't do that. Give me a second. You got, that's not big. Oh, belly. Fog. All right. Well, it so, smells got, like the incense is going down. I got down. the logo of the, the company. Okay, here's the logo of the company, Hot Valley. Which is kind of funny because this I beer, at Walmart. I don't taste any hops in it. Which is fine. Not every they beer have, needs. They have two kinds of hops, hops. I think. I was reading something that I thought it said something like two kinds of hops or something, or I don't know, like a ghost hop or or not ghost hop. Oh, I've heard, I can't remember what I'm talking about. Something where it. Oh, like a blonde. There's there's a there's a blonde coffee bean where it's like way more. Uh, mellow. <laughs> Anyways. Rambling on, it's good. Try it out. Seven point nine coffee, beer. Yeah, 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 yeah.